चेयरमैन पीपल्स पार्टी बिलावल भुट्टो जरदारी लाहौर हाई कोर्ट बार में वोकला से खिताब कर रहे हैं between the Pakistan People's Party and the legal fraternity the relationship between Qaeda Awam Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and the legal fraternity the relationship between Shahid Mohtarma Benazir Bhutto and the legal fraternity are part of the history of Pakistan. The law is the glue that binds society together. Law is the bridge between the state and the people. Without the law, no progress is possible. No civilized society is possible. No democracy is possible. My party and I have a special relationship with the law. When the Pakistan People's Party was formed in this very city of Lahore, a leading no newspaper, Dawn, reported, and I quote, a group of briefless lawyers have formed a party. Uh, 55 years later, the party formed my lawyers still fight for the rule of law, for the constitutional supremacy, and for the people of Pakistan. Pakistan was formed by a lawyer, Qaid e Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and Pakistan was made a constitutional, democratic, Islamic republic. republic. We were given a constitution, we were given Democracy, one man, one vote, to that too, by a lawyer, Qaid e Awam, Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. I have been and continue to be a witness and a victim of our justice system. As a child, I accompanied my mother to courts and to meet my father in prison, who spent in total, 11 and a half years in prison without a single conviction. And for 30 years, Shaheed Mohtarma Bayanazir Bhutto and Sadar Zirdari faced persecution at the hands of the state, of the government at the time, be it in the form of the Ahtisaab Bureau, be it in the form of the National Accountability Bureau, but we are eternally grateful. We are eternally grateful because as far as history is concerned, history has given its verdict कि या अल्लाह या रसूल बेनजी बेनजूर history has given its verdict and those very courts जहां ये cases चलते थे chief justice इफ्तिकार चौधरी के दौर में उन्हीं को courts हर एक case में शहीद मोतरमा बेनजी फुटो को Sadar Zardari ko Ba Izzat Badi kar diya The Lahore High Court Is part of the history of Pakistan Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto Was denied a free trial And a conspiracy to execute His judicial murder Was orchestrated at this very Lahore High Court. As I had said, as far as Sadr Zardari is concerned, 
and Shaheed Mahathirma Banerjee Bhutto is concerned, history is given the verdict and the court is also given its verdict. But as far as Shaheed Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto is concerned, those who conspired to murder Kaide Awam, Shaheed Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto, have been consigned to the dustbins of history. Their names are their names are remembered as only a smear, a smear on the face of our constitution, on the face of our republic, on the face of their institutions. And Kai the Awam Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto lives to this day in the hearts of the people. The verdict of history and the verdict of the Pakistani public is loud and clear. We still await the rectification of this historic wrong through the courts of Pakistan. This is not a personal request. When the presidential reference was sent in Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto's case, it was not because his son-in-law was the president of Pakistan, asking for justice. It is because this is an injustice with the people of Pakistan. How can the people of Pakistan hope for justice from the law? How can the people of Pakistan expect justice under the constitution? If the founder of that very constitution to this day still awaits justice, I would like to thank the lawyers of not only the Lahore High Court Bar, but from across the length and breadth of this country, who have never accepted this decision, who have fought every day of, this, of their legal profession to reject this decision, to the judges of the judiciary who have refused to allow this decision to form a precedent for our country. But it is time to remove this stain from the judiciary of Pakistan if we are to prove to the world that we in fact have a free and independent judiciary. A free and independent judiciary must free itself of the injustices of the past, of the historic wrongs, of the illegal decisions that endorse dictatorships, that endorse the rule of General Musharraf, that endorse the rule of General Zia al Haq, but condemn Qaeda Awam to the gallows. We do not doubt how honorable our lawyers' community are. No, we do not doubt the honor of our honorable judges, but we expect that they right this wrong. So that we can so we, that we can travel shoulder to shoulder and build a truly democratic Islamic Republic of Pakistan. The rule of law is the soul of a democratic system. The present selected government seeks to strip apart the rule of law. The responsibility to protect the rule of law falls on us, all politicians, lawyers, and judges. Sadly, history shows that we have thus far failed to discharge our responsibilities. And more often than not, the scales of justice, the scales of justice often side with the oppressors of the people. There have been of course, there have been shining examples. 
despite our history of mistreatment we have not lost faith we have not lost faith in the law as an ideal the trials the witch hunts the tribulations have only strengthened our resolve to strive for a judicial system which is fair which is just and which is equitable we are not fighting for one family we are not fighting for one party but against a system which fails millions of people we don't we don't get fair trials are denied due process and are denied basic facilities in prison no modern state can function in the absence of a fair legal system a cruel joke has been played upon the people of our country in the name of accountability undoubtedly pakistan needs a system of accountability a system which is fair non discriminatory non discriminatory transparent and efficient not the present witch hunt and persecution of opponents and of those who expose the ineptitudes and the insecurities of the regime the courts have a responsibility to uphold the values of fundamental rights fair trial and due process unfortunately very often very often we have failed to do so and have unwittingly become instruments of the persecuted i would like to share with you that while this is my first term in parliament as a member of the national assembly and as a young politician starting my political journey of course the role of parliament has not met our expectations and perhaps we have become a member of one of the worst performing parliaments in the history of and we strive for the betterment of our own institution for not only myself but the people of pakistan saw hope popped after the formation or the restoration of democracy in 2008 no matter the difficulties it was widely believed that pakistan is transitioning aista aista transitioning towards democracy one step forward two steps back two steps forward one step back but it is now undeniably clear that in the time of imran khan pakistan is not transitioning towards democracy pakistan is transitioning away from democracy Pakistan is not transitioning towards democracy we are transitioning towards authoritarianism and dictatorships and we must fight this as our expectations have not been met on the political front the lawyers community had inspired a great deal had inspired me a great deal in my youth for as i was about to embark on my studies the legal community in pakistan was struck was struggling for the freedom of our judiciary for the independence of our judiciary aur ehtizaz saab keh raha tha ke riyasat hogi maa ki jaisi but unfortunately khosa saab yahan baitha hai i still remember to this day how his head was split open in the fight for the restoration of an independent judiciary mick i mick karachi se aaya hu mujhe aaj tak yaad hai 12 mein jahan pakistan peoples party ke karkun shaheed ho azad adliya ki buniyad but the struggle for an independent judiciary was not for any one judge it was for the idea of a democracy a democracy which could not function until we had an independent judiciary that was run on the basis of rule of law 
And while we have the utmost respect for the legal community, utmost respect for our honorable judges, unfortunately, unfortunately, the expectations that we had during your movement, personally, I feel they have not been met. For me, for me, the Chief Justice of Pakistan should be deciding constitutional issues, not samosa ki kimat, chini ki kimat. <laughs> for me, the judiciary of Pakistan is a place for the battle of legal ideas. 